Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week, oh wow, we are still exploring uh, Kamigawa, the brand new commanders, because it turns out this set just has so many amazing commanders that legitimately, we usually just do like one or two episodes on a new set but we're doing a third one just because we all looked at like the remaining commanders and there was still a whole bunch that we're super excited to actually showcase so this is what we're doing today a third uh kamigawa special showcasing the brand new commanders from both the, the standard set and the pre-constructed decks uh the pre-constructed commander decks so let's kick it off with richard what are you bringing this week all right, I'm playing uh, one of the most important cards in the set, Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos, uh, Neon Ink Yellow. I don't know, they don't have any other wood expensive. But this is the set with Neon Ink. There's like a very, uh, there's variations of it. But essentially, four mana, four, four. Uh, it's Rakdos uh, in color identity. I can pay three, tap it, exile the top card of my library. When I exile a non-land this way, Hidetsugu deals damage equal to the mana value. Uh, to any target. So my deck is full of basically uncastable cards that I hope to get off the top <laughs> of my deck. And dome things, people, creatures, planeswalkers, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of weird uncastable cards normally. Uh, maybe some tricks, maybe some delve cards, maybe some cost reduction cards such that they're high CMC or mana value, but I can actually cast them. Uh, and yeah, it's a uh, Hidetsugu top of my library mana value matters deck. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That, that, that reminds me of like some Del Bork of art by vibes, you know, like you exile yeah. stuff and high mana value is good. Maybe we yeah. get a Draco. Up or in I there. draw seven, like, 12 drops in my hand. And do yeah, or you just have, like, one. a land, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? At one time, I don't play bribery. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, there <laughs> yeah. was a week for bribery. Bribery. This is... This <laughs> oh, is no. I, uh, maybe I'll just put a homeward path into this deck for one second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we got Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. What are you bringing this week? Oh, so I am playing uh, Rat Bikers. I'm playing Grease Fang <laughs> Okiba Boss. <laughs> it uh, it likes vehicles. It reanimates vehicles every turn for free and even gives them haste. I got to bounce back to my hand at my end step, which is kind of a bummer, but still there's ways around that. And to support Grease Fang, uh, you need ways to crew vehicles. I got a, a sneaky plan that's very unthemed, but I uh, you'll see it as we go along. Uh, but it, it's a very flavorful Grease Fang deck. I don't know if I build it the most powerful way possible, but... I think the flavor is on point. And reanimating vehicles is uh, unique. We've never seen a commander like this before. Never played it. Excited to see how Grease Man actually works. Hidden theme. Ooh, uh, oh, boy. Uh, nice. I Is it is it a pack rat? So yeah, you can should I surgical them? Seth? Yeah. Yeah. Please, see. please, please do not surgical me. <laughs> I, I, you'll, you'll probably you'll probably know what the theme is on turn two. If my deck does what it's supposed to, you'll know. Oh, really. OK. That sounds, that sounds ominous. Huh. I like it. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Phil. What do you got for us this week? So I'm playing Tatsunari Toad Rider, which is a... Well, let me just read the card real quick. Three mana, three, three, human ninja. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, if and if I don't call troll a card named Kaimi or Kimi, I create Kaimi or Kimi, depending how you uh, say the name. <laughs> it's a three, three, black and green frog that when that has whenever you cast an ins an, an enchantment spell each opponent loses one life and you gain one life so i'm going to create this frog again and again maybe sacrifice it it's basically uh, i can also gain um give play two mana to give tatsunari and a frog i control flying until end of turn but i'm probably not going to do that too often because i'm playing a sultai enchantress deck I'm gonna sacrifice this toad a lot. I mm -hmm. think that's the plan. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, pretty exciting color combination for Enchantress. And Enchantress is an archetype that I play, um, yeah, quite often, and I like it. And we'll see how it goes. All right, sweet. Um, and then finally, hello. My name is Tomer. I'm running Chishiro, the Shattered Blade. Um, 
Very sweet new style of commander. Kind of overlooked because uh, the other precon was so much more popular than this one, the buckle up uh, Azorius vehicles. Everybody is really excited about that. Poor Chishiro got kind of sidelined because his his stick is modify, which is just like not really a new keyword. It's just a batching keyword where it's like, oh, Aura's equipment and plus one, plus one counters are all put together. Yay. But it's actually it's actually a really cool commander. It looks really strong. And hopefully I get to showcase some some stuff that you can do with Chichiro uh, that maybe maybe takes it in a different direction. I saw a lot of people taking it in equipments. I'm not going for an equipment deck. I'm going for something uh, pretty different. Uh, and hopefully it will get to do some cool things. All right. And that's it for our deck techs. Uh, before we jump into the game though, we gotta shout out our sponsor. If you like uh, Commander Clash and you want to support the show, you can head on over to cardkin.com and you can buy all the sweet new Kamigawa cards that we're showcasing in this deck and so much more at cardkin.com. Uh, use the affiliate link to, uh, you know, send some of that revenue our way. We love that sort of stuff. Another way uh, you can support the show is if you uh, head over to ntggoldfishmerch.com, you can purchase all the lovely playmats stapled onto uh, Richard's wall. Maybe if you pay a little bit extra, you can still have the staples intact, but that's going to cost you, you see. Um, also, there's uh, deck sleeves, deck boxes, tokens, and even clothing items like, you know, uh, t-shirts and whatnot uh, over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. And the last thing you can do is you can support the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. We just hit 50k, so thank you so much for all the sweet support. We're going to be aiming for 100k afterwards, and as promised... The plants. It's still alive. They're still alive. <laughs> I like I said, everybody's like, is there I always get a message. Authenticity? Is it the same one? <laughs> They're fine. So, so it's who, not even a green screen. I'm doing, I'm touching them. Awesome. They're real. <laughs> so who who gets the plants? How do we determine the the winner of the plants? Uh, it's to be announced. Uh, okay. We're figuring that out. <laughs> but uh, TBD, they're still alive. That's the main thing. All right. With all that stuff out of the way, we're going to transition into the game. <laughs> All right, we're in the game. Everybody kept a starting seven, and I get to kick things off. Uh, very uh, exciting turn one. Um, let's just do a mountain, and we'll, uh, we'll pass the turn. Kamigawa Mountain, eh? Kamigawa Mountain. You will notice. Hmm. <sighs> I kept a, a one-lander. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. What? Hey, you're not green. <laughs> <laughs> one land, uh, soul ring, signet. One uh, I mean, soul ring uh, is like like a uh, two lands or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. This does one not land count. Soul mm. ring into something. I don't with the vandal blast. This is your chance. I don't have the. I don't vandal have the blast. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> no yeah. chance. Right. Right. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's over. Uh, forest null rod. Let's go. Oh my <laughs> please, god. Collector no. oof. Collect oh, collector! Oh, that's like done. a feasible card. Yeah, <laughs> and then you beat so him down with a two-two. <laughs> Send him. You, you still haven't paid Seth back for his commandeer strip mine. It's been so many years. Tomer. It's been many seasons. Yeah. Look, I, I am. Uh, I probably deserve I'm a it. nice person. All right. I don't. <laughs> I don't hold grudges. You know that. Mm, I don't know if that is that actually true. Um, <laughs> Could I be. think we all hold, we all hold, a, we all hold a little bit of grudges. <laughs> I'm so sad I have to play Zoff Consumption. <laughs> Zoff Consumption. Oh, I can't believe you're actually playing Zoff Consumption. It's a good That's, card. Uh, it's 6 yeah, CFC okay. for Hidetsugu too. <laughs> I'm very glad like every that there's now. a Zygoth Trium, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to play this. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I've seen this in Standard. This thing gets Weird. big. Wait, do we have two enchantments? It has stacks? cute little art. Generous visitor. Uh, Wait, cast an enchantment. You put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Yeah. That's cute. It's like that would make four enchantress decks over two episodes. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty enchantment. Kamigawa's theme set, the so I guess enchantress. That makes sense. It's kind of like yeah. It's kind of like what what the Kamigawa is. Is either artifacts or enchantments, right? Um, Maybe well, vehicles. Just... The vehicles are like a subset. But I don't right. know. I, I like Chishiro the most in in uh, Enchantress over like equipment. Everybody does equipment, but I really oh. think that's not the way you go. Wait, pay, you go. pay no He's, mind. Let's just. Uh, this is, this is kind of scary, actually. That's just a three minute. <laughs> it's kind of scary, no, and he no also top deal. decked a, a land, right? I did. <laughs> I did top deck the land. Yeah. So he has <laughs> one, two, three, four, five vehicle thing. 
He just has five mana on turn two. It's fine. But if I get Vandal Blasted, I'm totally out of it. What do you think about Phil's Commander being a ninja? Like, it doesn't feel very ninja very to me. Doesn't wow. really it doesn't have any ninjutsu. When I think of Giant Frog. <laughs> Is that? I'd say, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I heard about it. The reasoning behind this design that they said was um, they wanted, they were putting uh, ninjas in green in the set. And they want to make sure that there is a ninja commander that can run all the colors. Uh, now, it doesn't do anything uh, for ninjas, but it is a ninja. So ooh, that, that was the reasoning. Ooh, I mean, I guess sense. the, yeah, the unblockability, scary. like, kind of supports ninjas. Like, make sure yeah. you can ninjutsu something. So I guess I can kind of. If I squint hard enough, the enchantment theme, though, no other ninjas care about that. Yeah, that's weird. But it's a cool commander. I oh, actually cool just card. realized mm. it's a ninja when I read it. Or the deck tech. So uh, it's, it has no merit for my deck. As you could have probably guessed. Oh, God. Ooh, oh, my God. I so many enchantments. Oh, boy. I have no enchantment removals because I'm Rakdos. <laughs> so I, I, <laughs> nice. I think we need to... I think we need to kill the Enchantress players. I got murdered last week you when I played You have five mana on turn two. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> but you don't know my deck. You don't know my deck. Oh, my God. What? That's it's like two attack rats you can Are there, are there going to be vehicles in it, Seth? <laughs> that, well, there might be vehicles, but... Relentless well, okay. this is a This is a vehicle. Oh. Yeah, you're oh, fine. Uh -huh. Oh, now you can you My can Enchantress has Shroud. Oh, yeah, you see the Shroud? This thing's gross. Yeah, yes. I can't kill Phil's thing, right? Would which Aww. I'm sorry, Tomer. <laughs> Wait, his his enchantress is better than mine. Yeah, except his, for the his shroud, is actually right? a lot better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's That's not true. better because it died because it doesn't have shroud. But uh, <laughs> left alone, yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's <laughs> an <laughs> ETB trigger though. That's very <laughs> relevant. Well, he's, he can attack every turn, right? I think I'm more so more worried about Phil's deck though. You can just yeah, destroy I can't the board. This up and I think Seth is worried about my basics. What is this? A mountain? Apparently I got a way, way worse. Doesn't that, the red mountain. <laughs> no, it that doesn't. I, I actually played this time. one in the pre release. I never thought it looked like a mountain. I do play an island that looks like a forest, <laughs> though. I in, gotta give you this. I in, just today I'm triggering <laughs> Seth in, with basics. By the way, in my in my defense, after I I tweeted about me thinking that was a mountain and punning with it, and there was a big conversation about it. Someone posted a clip of Watsi's stream when they announced this, and they did pack openings. And Blake opened this and called it a mountain. He like opened it and looked <laughs> oh. at it for a few minutes, and like, oh yeah, one of the special mountains, and then moved on to the next card. So I'm not the only one. There's video proof that I'm not the only one. I mean, I, I feel you like once I'm not you trying know, to kill Richard here, by the way. Like once you once you see Swing the land and you write, you're told it's a mount, yeah, it's a mountain, <laughs> it's a swamp. <laughs> like you're not gonna make the mistake again, because like you know, like you'll recognize it. You'll be like, oh, it's a swamp. But like the fact that you know, it's but it's neither primarily a swamp red. nor a mountain. It's like <laughs> yeah. a it's an island, badlands. It, it's like a river or something over there. <laughs> yeah. I think it was oh, wow. doubly bad, too, because the first deck I played it in was Rakdos, so that made it, like, doubly confusing, because uh, my other lands were actually were mountains. so, anyway. Phyrexian Arena. I thought you said that was overrated, Richard, or you yeah, came around on, yeah. on I, Phyrexian I, 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 I agree with Seth now. <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> Gotta draw those cards. All right. Mm. That is a fancy I am a Rakdos deck, by the way. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you do have a way for us, problem. Some uh, revenge. <laughs> oh, I'm telling her I don't want to have to shoot down your <clears throat> instant speed. You <laughs> just shot down my champion, and there's a Actually, Tatsunari should... on the battlefield. You can yeah, go get I should that. probably kill. I should probably kill the Tatsunari. Right, we're casting our commander. Wait, so <laughs> at the beginning of combat, you get to return any vehicle? Oh my goodness! Yes. Oh my goodness. And the only one that can play farewell is Seth himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> one, two. Hmm. Don't, don't have do enough this. mana there, Seth. Is that the problem? Not not, not quite. Not quite. almost. <laughs> so this is crew four. Uh one, two. Wait, yeah, but Okay, so we play he wants this. To attack oh, with the <laughs> Wow, another I, land I off the top. Works. Yeah, I got super lucky hitting my land drop. So, okay. Oh, this, is gonna, this might be a decent turn. One, two, three. 
Yeah. I don't think it's decent. I don't think turn, it's he says. that good. Um, Either rat. But I might, I might deal a little damage. So we're going to play Grease Fang. Yeah. And then... <clears throat> turn target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. You don't have any creatures in your graveyard. Right? That is... The, that is true. Oh, are you entombing? No. <laughs> I'm going lies. to... No, buried alive is only creatures. Oh. I made a mastic so many times. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, deadly dispute. Wow. Uh, that sounds good, though. I'm going to sacrifice oh, Sky okay. Sovereign. Oh, so good. This is disgusting. And then secret hidden theme time so as i was building this deck i was trying to figure out okay how do i how do i crew my vehicles i need high power yeah. creatures <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the solution is a uh, is even more rat bikers wait why is so it now get, what's pumping? uh it pumps for, for each other rat, rat you for control. every rat yeah there, oh it's, so every, the, it's not rat colonies it's just rats yeah okay. relentless yeah. rats is the old one where it has to have the same name rat colony is like the the modern version of it where it's only it's any rat so now Grease Fang is back. <laughs> That's kind sovereign. of insane. This is actually okay. kind of insane. And well, then Seth has um, 12, 16, <laughs> 19 power on the yeah. board. Yeah. And he's shooting things at random. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah, and I get to crew this too. And it gets oh, I do have to bounce my. Oh, he gets a double ping too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, not a not a this bad is, not uh, a bad start. Five evil no Inferno <laughs> Titan on steroids here. This is uh, real. But and it bounces back to his hand, and next turn he can just cast it again to ping again. All right, so we'll we'll attack the two enchantress players, I think. Oh, uh, guys, feel yeah, spread mass, spread the love. Artifact. So we're we're the bad guys at the table. <laughs> we're the bad guys. <laughs> well, I'm you still. Happened last oh you my you might not you might not hold <laughs> yeah, grudges. That's light Gomer. pause. Light pause <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> You, you might not hold grudges, but I wanted to go off with shrines last week, and no one let me because they were scared of my enchantments. So, <laughs> oh my so I'm God. killing enchantress decks first. <laughs> well, this all is right. brutal. That's it. That's all. That's all I got. Yeah, that's it. That's. Yeah, it. I wish I had Vandal Blast in this deck. <laughs> I am glad you don't. <laughs> so nine. He's dealt nine damage with the sky ship. This is what mm. turn three. Yeah. He also has yeah, like that? a million power and yeah. a million mana. How is this possible? Sure. <laughs> soul ring. That's that's what happens when you start with a soul ring. Oh, it was a soul ring start. Yeah. All right. It's almost like soul rings. Like Ooh, should you going to be the slowest ramp we've seen in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the card, though. It seems very slow, but very impactful. It looks so bad, though, when there's a freaking sky song. Yeah, ring. that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, Tomer, Tomer, do you have any good answers in your deck? <laughs> no, do you really not have any answer? You don't have a Vandal Blast, a Collector Oof. Okay, yeah, I have I have Latula's orders. All right, do you know that? that off I the don't top even of know what head. that does. The viewers that's at a, home, that's a card. You can you can you can Google search your viewers at home. <laughs> I'm Google searching. Um, it. It's not in my so hand. It's not in my hand, but it's a uh, it is a way of, of getting you. Hey, if I give you a. Is she zero flying? Mm. You do attack Seth, right? Yes. <laughs> are you casting a, ca a catch? Are, are, you are. are you all teaming up? Oh. Hmm. Sure. You could remove it at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Once he attacks, remove it. Yeah, yeah, you so it like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I like that it's also, it looks like a, it's like a serpent that get, got wings and she sure is like a oh, serpent yeah. that got wings. No, this yeah. feels like a flavor win. Yeah, I definitely just didn't just want to draw a card there. Yeah. And you could bounce it back to hand. It's one of those. I, I will, yeah. Not when you attack, though. I'm, I'm going to let you have this one. You, you're you going to give get a counter as well, right? At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one. Oh, no. Modified only counts auras you control, yeah. so... Uh, but yeah, if he has a Kodama, he gets to <clears throat> ramp one. <laughs> if I have a Kodama. <laughs> no, it, it's just like auras you control. It's equipment, auras you control, and counters are modifications. So, oh, so this doesn't count as a modified Yeah, this yeah that's count. not a modification. Yeah. <sighs> All right, Richard. Let's see this red mana. 
I guess we should just gonna win this. We're just gonna <laughs> bash our heads. Of course, he's drawing he's, cards. He's going the slowest the start, so he just gets to oh, chill no. while we kill each other. Slowest oh. start? I'm not even sure about this. Oh. Like Phyrexian Arena and Sensei's Divining Top is. I mean, it's grindy, but it's I wouldn't it's consider grindy, it yeah. slow. Yeah, this is what happens. Yeah. But like, we'll, we'll, like honestly, like this is this is the the genius of it, right? Like Seth has presented himself as arch enemy. You have to deal with Seth, and what yeah. you can't attack Richard, right? Like it would be incorrect in this situation to attack Richard. It's just even incorrect. in our play like, group where Richard always wins. I wonder if we think about it. I've backwards. literally done nothing. even in these <laughs> but situations. Like, like, if, if I if I attacked Richard, I just get all my stuff still picked off, and and Seth is clearly ahead at the, on board, right? Like you can't. It doesn't make sense to yeah. attack Richard unless That's, you're thinking just like we got to make sure that Richard doesn't win at all costs. <sighs> I agree with you guys, but this is not my doing. This is Seth's doing. Why am I for this? This is always how it starts. I literally have just my first two same. creatures are all both dead. Like uh, <laughs> I got zero value out of them. Should have should have had more toughness. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> Man, if I remove this shimmering awesome. wings while you are attacking. <laughs> Well, it would mean, actually be really funny. Yeah, you, did you, you pay two down. life just for this ability? You snap, though. <laughs> At the very least, there's that. Um, all right, we're going to make a snakey boy. I have some problems with wild growth on MTGO. I play it myself, but right. there's only a white bordered version available. <laughs> What's wrong with and that? And this is not okay. It's clearly the superior just... version. It is absolutely not. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, this thing like, is menace. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, so red. whenever whenever I cast an aura, uh, targeting a wait, whenever I cast it, an aura or an equipment, I make a two two uh, red menace uh, spirit. Just kind of that's cool. and it has the artwork of the colorless spirits that are one ones, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Put this Wait, and you can just keep guy. making them. Phil's commander can only ever make one at a time, right? Oh, I huh. didn't know this was a card. Snake Umbra? I guess I should because oh. I'm pretty sure. So I, I, I cast, I cast Snake Umbra. Myself. This like look how much look how much layers of snake we've got here. We've got Chitro, <laughs> yeah. the snake. He's wearing a snake umbra, and he's got a shimmering rings, which is like a snake water snake wings. <laughs> Like, uh, uh, you can't get upset at this. You, you, you can't. You can't. Um, and then one more layer on top of this. Oh, boy. I'm absolutely going to get, like, blown up by Richard or something. Mark of Sakiko, please. Ooh, and thank you. Know. Wow. I don't know. Mark I'm... of Sakiko. When this, <laughs> this uh, creature deals this combat damage to a player at that much green. Ooh, I mean, two <laughs> mana. That's uh, interesting. Should this be a staple? This yeah. seems insane. No. I mean, yeah. I think it's I okay in green decks, but... All right, I'm let's get in there. Umbra and so forth. All right, Seth, you enjoy killing all my creatures repeatedly, huh? I don't know if I'm the scariest person at the table anymore. Excuse <laughs> Honestly. me? Honestly. <laughs> is Tomer going to punch himself? Like, how is Tomer's, got more, <laughs> Tomer's got more creatures and more mana than me now. Like, he does. In the, until, until Chishiro dies, and then I'm very sad. Yeah, but you got layers of protection on it. Yeah, I'm totally yeah, you got the total. Like, I don't think that's going anywhere. Oh, maybe as this will as, force Seth to cast a farewell. As long as we don't have yeah, the farewell. <laughs> Honestly, I did not play farewell because I didn't want to exile my own stuff. <laughs> what is it? Isn't let's put I one mean, more sure, layer protection. I thought we were all on the <laughs> farewell is super broken. I think farewell is great. Uh, but canopy I wonder... cover can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach, and enchanted creature can't be the target of spells. It's oh. it's hex so, hex proof. Yeah, uh, I was thinking. Cool. Look at all these good yeah. green enchantments. Oh boy, yeah, that's pretty scary. Well, the oh, only what, good news six is six mana. He's only got two cards. Card. Only a single card or equal to damage. Yeah, I really Just wanted that card. citizen champion on the battlefield. You see, <laughs> that would have been really good. <laughs> Oh, this is a bummer. I can't really do much of anything. Um, huh. Nothing well, to say. Let's play Thought Vessel. Mm -hmm. And then... I mean, I guess we play Mask Memory. That's a good card. 
and uh, equip it you to can chuck a your rat. <laughs> your vehicles and reanimate them. Yeah, that's that's the main upside in this deck. Go to combat. Not a very explosive turn though. Um, well, attack. Oh, sorry, Richard. You're the, you're the only one I can attack. Uh, actually, Greasefin can stay back. Tomer's trying to kill me. Uh, well, Wait, can you even- I'm not trying to kill you. I'm Wait, trying it to- has fly. It has flag <laughs> until Phil decides it doesn't have fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guaranteed, Phil's taking it back this turn. That's why he- uh, yeah, well, he, he can recast <laughs> it and yeah, keep drawing cards off draw card, and right? Just, yeah, that's the beauty of the card. I would uh, like to draw cards. That would be nice. Well, I guess we played another rat colony. <laughs> when in doubt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the four ones. Uh, and that's all we got. All right. <clears throat> we no, can no, use no, a, no. a rat. Get this one. <laughs> wow, you did this all in one turn, didn't you, Tomer? Like, mm-hmm. that whole board came from this one turn. Kind of an impressive commander. It ain't a joke. It's a good one. And I, I don't know. I feel like she should have kind of overlooked a lot. But it is a really sweet commander. And there's there's other things the deck does, too, with, like, counters and whatnot. It's not just, like, one. A one it's got trip. the modified stuff going on, too. Yeah. yeah. Sounds sweet. The pre-con was kind of a mess, but um, the commander itself is really good. <laughs> yeah, Those draw another awesome card. Cards. Make cards in hand. Mm-hmm. Like maybe Phil's looking for lands. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm He's looking, looking for. for value. He's just looking to draw <laughs> yeah. cards. What is this like? Yeah, all of us <laughs> draws cards, but it will probably kill me. Oh yeah, if you're if you're taking like four or eight, it's very tasty. You have eight cards in hand. There's no way he's digging that deep, <laughs> unless yeah, he's like know. just. Trying, I think he's just trying to hit land drop so he can play whatever's in his hand, right? Yeah. He has an enchantress on the battlefield. Hmm. What do we think of Shigiki? Mm-hmm. Like, is how how good is that card? Like, is that stable I, level ramp, or is it only good in Enchantress stacks? I'm it's one I'm undecided on. So I played it in Historic Brawl to very surprising results. Like, it's super like this channel ability. You can bounce it to your hand and then use the channel ability, which is a pretty good when the game in the late just game. took too long. Yeah, it's, yeah. you can get like five cards back or something if you play I mean you play green anyway so you're probably mm-hmm. ramping mm-hmm. it's pretty good it's just super slow like it's not a turn two or turn three oh wow there's a perhelion in Seth's graveyard <laughs> yeah, uh, no, this is a combo that I I, uh, I, was I did not, not going to say anything this. about that. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, viewers, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm trying not to get I'm trying not to get murdered. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, that is very troubling. It's, okay, it's so are we still as, fighting? Is this? Is I this would prefer. Going? How about if? How about if we're friends, Tomer? I would. I would, I would rather not get out of here. No. On no. Okay. No. 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 Alliance. No, no. Alliance. What? No, 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 no. 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 I don't want to take like twelve in the face. And, and I don't want to take twelve in the face. So I'm let's... sorry, Mister. I'm just gonna draw cards and not yeah. develop my board. Uh, you gotta, think... you gotta throw something on the battlefield. That's like uh, Phil and Richard, Richard wanna... one. Yeah, that Phil and Richard, I think, want to take twelve to the. Fa- to the Sounds face. like wow. they do. Yeah, I mean, wow. if they didn't want to, they would have played some blockers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. By all means, keep drawing cards. This is great at all, but it's the eight additional flying creatures <laughs> that, that stick yeah. on the board. That's the problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. our helium's a good card. I think it's, it's like your that's like commander, your best though. vehicle, right? Like it's it's the big the best reanimate for sure. Yeah, yeah. like it is the best with Grease Mang. That if you gotta cast awesome. it, it's a little expensive. But if you can get it back for free with Grease Fang, it's kind of insane. Yeah, this is quite an impressive start for Grease Fang. I feel like mm-hmm. it's really yeah, I, what it wants I mean, to do. Honestly, like this is an impressive start for Soul Ring. <laughs> like that's not what made this happen. Like Grease Fang is here. And oh doing no! Things, but, <clears throat> oh no! This oh. is how we lose. <laughs> I mean, this is how was I this? not die. <laughs> oh, he's, is, he's toxic delusion. This is just to shuffle the top cards oh, away. Fine. I think. That's real bad. 
Oh, I don't have a toxic deluge, so it's almost My safe. rats. What? Where is he? One, two, uh-huh. three. Well, you better not be but... venom blasting. <laughs> I have basically nothing after this. If I fight, where he gets wiped, I'm, the the struggle of oh but no, I, you have a yeah, but I wanted mm, it's my card mm, draw mm. is going away. Oh, oh, you're you're just, oh is the totem armor thing the card draw thing? Oh, it yeah, is. oh, that's boy, really bad. Value. You still Damn, commander though, that's not that mm. bad. <sighs> yeah, it's a. Well, we're saving ourselves uh, from massive really damage. Bad. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Phil milled agent of treachery, of course. Of course. Oh, no. Agent of treachery. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good card, right? Yeah. Why are they all basic swamp mountain? Oh, my, the, the card art of my mountains has changed. Yeah, yeah. because oh, they oh, are oh, all. Oh, yeah, they, I, this happened in playtesting. It's an book, yeah. As yeah, soon as like, Urborg or something drops, Urborg should have changed the the card art that I selected. What? <laughs> it didn't yeah, change is, my. Wait, weird. it didn't change his swamps change, though. No, it doesn't <laughs> change. Yeah, since there's still a swamp, it didn't change your card art. It just slapped a card frame over it. No, no, it did. Wait, it's what? Different. I didn't have it's actually start. different mountains, isn't it? It's a different mountain. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, is, I'm pretty sure the one yeah. with the flames in the. <laughs> bo- I, Okay, man, this That's is kind so of cool, much, actually. This is so much worse. <laughs> uh, all right, Richard. Uh, I guess, I guess we must fight. We are still getting. I was saving us from Seth. <laughs> you, you lost literally <laughs> spirit tokens that you don't care about. <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> Sanctum Weaver? Uh-huh. Ooh, what? So much mana. If Tom River finds cards to go with his mana, he's gonna really yeah. Be- yeah, like really any, be going off over any there. Any green draw something based that, on your power. That, that and damage then he's in there. He's, let's get that damage in there. <laughs> ah, Sanctum Weaver beat down. The cla- classic <laughs> commander archetype. <laughs> Overpowered. <laughs> um, all right, let's get in there. Do you get any bounce equipments like the one Phil had, Tomer? Are there, do those yes. exist in Gruel? Okay. There's a cycle. There's a cycle. Oh, them. I didn't realize that. Oh, oh, was it like taste. frog's tongue or something? Or just for one. Whoa, so, howdy duty. <laughs> if you if you have a Sylvan okay. library, I feel like I'm obligated to hit you a little bit. Sure. It's kind sure, of like sure. if you're on ad nauseum, it's like you have to hit the person with ad nauseum. I mean, I'm probably never gonna activate it to what? be honest. Unless I gain <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a May, but oh, yeah. uh, no, I, I don't You get to see the cards, you're not gonna pay the life. Make five. Uh, I can also choose to not see the cards, right? You may draw two additional cards. Oh, is it's it? kind of underrated, right? So you get it's to say a double no may. <laughs> I don't know. So I mean, mana. if if the opponent has an asset, I'd probably say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the Sanctum Weaver is going to get big. <laughs> <laughs> Beefy beater. <laughs> Beefy beater, Sanctum Weaver. Oh, sorry. I, I played Escape Velocity by the way because a plus one plus one on hand. That's why. Oh no, that's why Tober has a land in hand. hand. He had like twelve mana and did, did not need to cast it. Yeah, it turns out uh, I'm on. I'm running on fumes here. So, we are still getting uh, Pahedion right now, right? Yeah, I can, can just I can grease fang again. Yeah, yeah that's... and we we're, we're on an agreement, Seth. Right? Oh yeah, we're 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 cool. Thank you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll get the Parhelion. So every week, Seth and Tomer make an alliance, and then <laughs> yeah. Phil try to like, desperately fight what back. We're in the week? wrong order this week. <laughs> Seth like, kills me every single game. What do you mean? No, you, like, you guys start off on alliance, then somehow Seth betrays you somewhere along the line. <laughs> no, but Seth every week, I'm like, Phil, Seth how do we we're friends, get and then he kills me this. to draw a card. To draw one card, <laughs> so- he will kill me. <laughs> There's, there's limits to friendship. There's limits to the friendship. Line. There's limits yeah. to friendship. And when card draw gets involved, all bets are off. <laughs> and, and inevitably, oh my God, the I die first. Well. Yes, it's thirteen damage, right? Yeah, part Helion enters spread? the battlefield. Vigilance, first strike. You can actually cast for Helion. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> yes, seven. Yeah. Eight. Oh, he, <laughs> oh, he didn't equip the mask though. 
what is this? Yeah, well, it reanimates beginning of combat, so I can't, oh. unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're still just going to do <laughs> I'll still insane make damage. <laughs> All right, Phil, do well, you have instant speed answer? What is this, 13 damage? <laughs> well, zero mana, yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean, this right. one. We're gonna, we're gonna spread the, the damage. God, I'm gonna mm. die. So I mean, Richard early has again. Uh, Phil has eight <sighs> cards in hand. He's been doing nothing but dirling. Surely he, <laughs> he can find some answer though. to the board, right? No, <laughs> no. I have zero answers to Paedion. I'm just gonna die. Very the problem is like you wrath, and Seth can still recast Greasefang, right? So taking yeah, the, it's you know, like, like you, you thing, actually have to fare well, right? Cheap. Like Seth has yeah, too much. Yeah, I can probably. I can probably answer it, but only temporarily. And I, I, I just don't know what to do here. To be honest, I think it's a quick one for me again. <laughs> <sighs> I've what what, I, what, I what if I could thing. give you a card, Phil? I oh. have enough. Phil's cards. already got I need, all the cards. Yeah. <laughs> out of your, I, I out of your, out of your deck. I think he's talking about <laughs> scheming symmetry here. Oh. Oh, we, we have ooh, a clock so. that we have to finish them, Seth. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just going to keep wiping our boards. All right. I've always wanted to flip a Conqueror's Galleon. Oh, yes. I've never I've... never done it, but I've always wanted to. So maybe this is the day. Like a, it's like a, it becomes like Hard a rock, trading post. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a well, pseudo a expensive trading post. Yeah, yeah. it ramps. Put All target right, card so from your graveyard. Oh, yeah. it's. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I really need. It's also cool with Grease Fang because you don't return the land to the hand, right? If you yes, if it flips, it's a new a new object, so it sticks around. Yeah, that was actually the biggest trouble I ran into with this deck is finding like repeatable discard outlets. Because Grease Fang's like at its best if you can keep discarding, but a lot of those cards are blue or red. White black is like a tricky color <laughs> to to be able to discard cards every turn efficiently. How many but. how many cards are you gonna draw there, Phil? Just yeah, do eight. All the way, Phil. Take eight. All the way. Yeah. <clears throat> I promise gonna... I won't murder you with Barkey. That's that's the if class you go class down to special. fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I would no fear. No fear. Life is a resource. Just I just that. gotta get that I just gotta get that mountain off the battlefield. It's not personal. You should have should have played a, a different mountain. <laughs> In By the way, I was I was incorrect on on <laughs> the mountain. It's the same lockers. art. It's the same art. It's just the 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 layout they changed. Phil was right. Oh, it I looks it up. different. It does look different because like you're seeing different parts. Like, you know, there was a giant symbol in the top left corner that was uh, hiding some of it. Also, Urza Saga is kind of busted in my deck. I mean, it's good in every deck, but it's <laughs> especially good in a deck like this. Yeah. Wait, I think I just... Well, the constructs, you, you could just, you the could constructs just say, like, are big, and busted. they crew vehicles, uh, oh, and there the are vehicles. You, well. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, and there's I think vehicles Tomer's 55-55 constructs showed. <laughs> 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 the stupid land to make two of them. I never attacked with. <laughs> we're, we're good. All right, what is it? Uh -oh. tower. Uh -oh. yeah, it's Bottom just gonna. Man. I'm so my plan is please don't attack me. Pretty much. <laughs> <Phil>. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, sounds good. I can't. We trying to sounds get good. value still. You have eight cards in hand. <laughs> sounds good. It's not just value. It's a. Uh, is it part of it your engine? Does, does it do yeah, I mean, it's an engine. I, yeah. It, I'm it, is it a value engine or does it like win the game engine? Yeah, I guess it's a life gain engine. To <laughs> you get I one. Think about to frog. Wipe the board again, though, right? Maybe. Yeah, because yeah, you keep hitting me. I, I need to desperately wipe <laughs> the board to not die. <laughs> yes. Well, that's probably this is how it works. That's why I'm going to keep hitting you, Richard. <laughs> okay, so now. now that yeah, I we'll keep wiping the first board. of all, uh, Whipsick, pretty much the same as the Shimmering Wings. It just gets gifts a reach, um, yeah. and I get uh, Kim Kimi Kaimi. I don't know. You get it drains permit. Kermit. Kermit, yeah. Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, this is one life in game of life. Does, treasure. Treasure. Okay. Sure. Does Phil's commander have infinite combos? Like, is there a way you can keep sacking the frog for value to, like, Ashenad's altar or something and go in? Yes. Oh, wait. The, oh, yeah. No. The one that sacks for colored mana, Phyrexian, Phyrexian altar with Whipsil. Yeah. No, don't be That's scared like of infinite. infinite combos. That's infinite. That kills us all. I guess. <clears throat> it is infinite. It, it, oh, come is, on. Is Phyrexian altar in your deck, Phil? 
I'm sorry the connection just broke off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta win somehow. I'm just doodling around. And, oh, oh just... no, it's fine. But we have to kill you. No, now. it is fine. But yeah, we do. We do have to kill you now. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> Actually, Richard rats. Richard is gonna rat because he's skimming symmetry and he has sensei's top. Or if it's not scheming symmetry, it's a witch claw, I guess. I mean, I can't just wrath because Seth will kill me, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's actually cool about the vehicles. Yeah, because they're not always creatures, so they can dodge (laughs) some sorts of removal. (laughs) This is new angel art. I've never, well, I guess it's not new, but I've never seen it before. The angel tokens from Parhelion. They're sweet. Yeah, I haven't seen those either, I don't think. What set is it from? What is that set symbol? It's I think I mean, it, it has to go on with Parhelion. Oh, right? it's a commander but set symbol. I see. It's the new commander. It's the one where Shishiro is from. Oh, because they yeah, just the they reprinted Parhelion. That's right. Yeah. Ah. But like they're Boros Angels, so they go with the Parhelion. So. Is it the same artist? Vulcan Baga and the other one is... I don't know which one Parhelion was. Probably the same. Yeah, artist. I don't know. All right, Richard, what do you got? What do you got for us today? <laughs> I'm looking at my deck list. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't get to attack 12. with Parhelion this turn unless I, unless I find no way to discard it. So you're a little safe this turn. Yeah, the angels are still eight power of angels. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also no minds honestly angels. more concerned about Phil just accidentally going infinite than you. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, well you're one you're one card away. Like we, we see the full combo if you also, just if, have if Richard Frank's Oh my god, if Richard hand, does scheming win. symmetry on, on Phil, he can just that is like, correct. He uh, can just get his commit. Is... Oh yeah, that's correct. True. Wait, what? What, what if I if, if you if you let Phil tutor, he can just tutor up Phyrexian <laughs> Altar and just win the game on his turn. I don't he win have... the game. I I still need. A... Wait, don't you Wait, don't do you I... just drain us out of the game with the frog? I mean, it's two mana yeah. to play and return Whipsick, right? Uh, okay, no, so you're uh, one. Uh, you well, you need. I guess Rancor. Rancor is what does it because Rancor. That is uh, correct. Okay. Yes, the Rancor is the one that I Rancor can actually does. go infinite. I I tried it in play testing here, yeah, and I do. Theoretically, have a chance to go infinite, but I actually had a hard time going infinite while gold fishing. So I'm oh, interesting. Pretty sure I shouldn't go infinite. I can build a pretty solid engine. That is, that's why Not I play this deck. Infinite. But yeah, uh, right. sure does actually does go infinite with uh, Rancor and Phyrexian Altar too. But I don't have yes, Phyrexian Altar in my hand or in my deck. I don't have Phyrexian Altar in my deck. I have oh, no. That's right. I do. Yeah. I, I, I do I play the infinite, but uh, I don't even think I have Rancor in this deck, to be honest. Did you flip your top? Should. Oh, oh you now should, you can't. Should, right? Now if you symmetry, you lose it. Ooh. No, I, I mean I have nothing to symmetry for. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm That's playing Rock really? You know the great, <laughs> the great colors of great answers. Vassal uh, Act is a good answer. I like that. Please don't, oh, please, don't please don't kill my creatures. Please don't kill my creatures. Oh, right, okay, bye. okay. Yeah. Oh, that's it. nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a blocker, maybe. It is a blocker. One, two, three, four, five, Remember, six. I can seven, block like oh, your Wilton Angel. You're one <laughs> short of ascending. You can block your Mighty Shiro. This is correct. All right. All right. Come on, top deck. <laughs> I don't know how you guys play non white. There's like no answers. <laughs> <laughs> Does you it just can't remove be enchantments? Down. I can remove artifacts, but only artifacts. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're on the we're on the beat down plan. <laughs> oh boy. Um, who who are we most scared of, Tomer? Phil still probably. I don't even know. They're both kind of scary. What, what, what is Phil's combo? Ashnad's so the combo that I have okay. zero pieces of. By the way, I thought, I thought <laughs> you were once getting symmetry away from winning. What? I'm, gonna, no, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm whittle down both their health totals and and see where where we're at here. Spread the uh, love. Yeah, I'm gonna explain the combo if I actually get to put it off or at the end of the game. I don't want to instill more fear of this combo <laughs> when I explain it. Oh, it seems right, scary, but it's kind of hard to assemble. Some wholesome it. six damage with this board here. Yeah, I was thinking Whip Silk could replace Ranker, but you're yeah, no. two mana, so you need you would need a cost reduction effect or something, which 
Yeah, probably doesn't exist. Hmm. But you could have both pieces in hand. You've been drawing a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And I pass the turn. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Riveting stuff here. <laughs> oh. oh. Come on, pack rat. <laughs> go, go for it, Seb. <laughs> uh. I'd love to be able to discard some of these vehicles. There is a saga. Here oh, we go. This construct. It's going to be so good. Here we go. Yeah, the construct's pretty big. Uh, all right. So, yeah. now what? Um, I mean, I got to play this. I can't not play it. Ugh. Wait, so no one explain to me Phil's combo. How close is he from getting it? Okay, okay. so, so I'll oh, go ahead. Okay, so if I play a Rancor on the Kim, I'm just gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it Kermit. Sure. Um, so if I play a Rancor on this and yeah. sacrifice the Frog or Kermit <laughs> with the Phyrexian Altar, yeah, I can create infinite. Uh, I can infinitely recast the Rancor because when I sacrifice the Toad, the Rancor will go back to my hand, and then I cast it again with the mana I created. Wait, what? And this will create Isn't a loop. The tower. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, by the altar, way, I can't. I okay. also need another creature, so I probably. Oh, then we infinitely get drained. Mm. Yeah. yeah. No, not really. Like I, it does, I can't right? enchant the. No, I need another creature to sacrifice. Still, that doesn't really work. That's what I mean. Even gold fishing this wasn't too easy. There's probably a way to go infinite, but I can't enchant the rancor. And create the toad that I'm enchanting in the same go. Because I can't target it. I create it when I cast the Rancor, but I can't Growing enchant it. So the galleon. I want to flip it. I want to flip it. I've been wanting to yeah, flip it for sure. so long. Mana. Yeah, because you, you can't cast the Tar Oh, then you can, the Rancor then you can the loot with it. Oh, this is... <laughs> yeah, looting would be That's would actually be some pretty good synergies. Uh, all right, so... We're gonna continue to spread the love, I guess. I would. Uh, it's Homer, right? <laughs> Do are we really gonna have <laughs> to, to fight oh. Seth? <laughs> no, no, I'm spreading love to to non allies, non allies. Yeah. Um, I guess the combo doesn't work. Huh. You need something else then to make it work because hmm, you can't target the, the the Kaimi with the. Yeah, but that, but that I, was I what two. Having... He needed two cards for that half combo, so he needs a third card. Yeah, to make it I, a full it's combo. not th something to be scared about. Like as mentioned, I tried it gold fishing here, and it's not. It's not easy. I, it it happened somehow. I think I had an omniscience on the battlefield yeah. or something. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, not of course. Easy oh, so there's an omniscience in there. Exactly. All right, it makes sense. Wait a minute. I, All right, kill, kill, I'm Phil. kill, 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 what? <laughs> of course, I'm playing omniscience. Why Wait, else? What do you mean? How would you cast it normally without some shenanigans? I don't even know. And ramping is uh, the, half of the thing you do on Commander. <laughs> what? Like, but ramping to omniscience is uh, quite ambitious. Do you ambitious. need omniscience once you can ramp it to omniscience? Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> oh, he wants to draw an omniscience right now on turn point. seven. He's not even green. It's not hard I, to get to 10 I, mana in Commander. I, I actually know where it fills at because I used to also just always play omniscience for value. I, I don't know. Like, cool I started to feel. I started to feel. I started to feel bad about it, so I just like stopped yeah, playing it because it felt too point, easy yeah. to win with. So now yeah, I only play it true. like in specific decks. But I, 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 I like know where it feels coming from. You, like you, you could run it as like a commander. super ritual, right? Like you can, you, you, if you had that with a gar, uh, card draw engine, then you start casting Ooh. stuff and chaining. So it makes sense, Ooh. I guess. But it's <laughs> I like this. Oh, please don't vandal blast me. <laughs> I'm drawing so <laughs> many sweet vehicles. I really need to not get <clears throat> not get vandal blasted. Uh, I wish I was drawing. Period. All right, so <laughs> Parhelion back in the graveyard. We've oh, flipped a Conqueror's Galleon. I didn't know that was possible. And now we're going to play... Um, let's play uh, Reckoner Bankbuster. Three charge mm -hmm. counters on it. Remove, draw a card. Oh, yeah. Bit of card draw. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we're going to play the... <laughs> uh, everyone's favorite meme vehicle. <laughs> The, yes. the nice. most colossal it's of It's not clouds. even a meme. It's a good card. <laughs> <laughs> the name, though. The name. Every time I play it, I giggle. I can't. I can't Get help cloud. it. 
Um, Has Tomer been sandbagging a Vandal Blast this whole game? We're, we're, we're friends. How we're is he friends. not afraid of Seth with this board? <laughs> like, what does he have? We're, a collector? I, I, am not, I, I guess friendship. <laughs> I have it a single yeah. card friendship. in my hand, Richard. <laughs> I have a single card. It's the power of friendship. Do you want you want me to wage war with Seth? <laughs> like, what, what are... Would you actually wage war, Seth, uh, Richard, if you were in my shoes? I, I've been waging war with like, Seth this whole game. <laughs> yeah, but you have a yeah. you have a cozy hand. And and you have card draw on the battlefield. <laughs> I don't know why you guys value card draw over having a literal board. <laughs> like, I, I, I value some having of a, these cards in my hand for stuff I have on the a board. I, I value having a little board, but I know the moment I might lose my board, which will happen, I'm out of the game. That's why I value card draw as well. You gotta have both. Because, <laughs> like, if there's a board wipe, I'm gone. That's it. I have one card. Oh, there's another saga over here. Mm -hmm. All right, this Phil is pretty risky. Right here. Um, he has eight cards in hand that he hasn't been deploying this whole game. So He's just been replaying yeah. his commander. <laughs> Keep casting Whip Silk over I'm and a, over again. He's just gonna Whip Silk a few one. times. Mm. <laughs> this is like. Yeah, I forgot oh. to return Whip Silk to my hand there. That was yeah, probably ring, wrong. Of course. That's a, um, that's a fancy Soul Ring. Sure is. Yes. I mean, it's a soaring. It can be. Did you did you order that specifically, card. Phil? That that art, or did you yes. just randomly end up? Okay. No, I'm pretty specific Good with choice. my uh, uh, artworks these days. <laughs> uh, I usually play old border, then expedition or masterpiece, and then other stuff. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Good. I know, good technique. I don't know. Um. What. Um, uh, are we are we dead, Phil? Are you comboing us? <laughs> Come on! I just, <laughs> I just <laughs> do you win this turn, Phil? <clears throat> Is it omniscience time? <laughs> omniscience pass. <laughs> omniscience pass. <laughs> you Don't kill you me, guys. Omniscience pass because you had a ley line. I could I could see that omniscience ley line pass win. Oh, I wish I do play both. Yeah. We also um, learned how if 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 Phil doesn't get murdered before he casts his silly spells, we just die. Yeah, did you get attacked this was last true, game? Correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the problem is Seth has lethal on like literally everyone. Like all he has yeah. to do is just crew up his things with Peace Walker Colossus. <laughs> he doesn't have lethal so on me. So much damage, and he can actually loot the Parhelion too. He might actually be able to kill Tomer through the blockers as well. Like all of us. But happens. we're friends. Yeah, we're we're good. Ooh, we're good. Oh, okay. It's an no, no, I no, I have no, to do no. it. Yes. Are you? Is this? Yeah. Uh, That's a are grease you going fang. Grease fang? I have to take the grease fang Spays right. Out. My Although alien. Seth is probably gonna murder me for it, but I have to do no, it. Right. I wouldn't do it, Phil. I'm just saying. Oh, you can just bring it back <laughs> to the commands. No, it's phased out. No, you it's phased. Yeah. It can't. It's you gone can't. forever. Oubliette. So well, until Oubliette leaves. <laughs> It's a little blue at leaves. But if I Ubli at the she see or she see or mm. You can't. Mm -hmm. It has Are you... hex proof. Oh it has it hex proof. Has hex -proof. <laughs> God. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't say it uh, on the card. He's made an enemy for no game. Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, why do you? Why, it's, why would you it's do this? Zero though. And Shandy Kree takes it's not a target worded. of spells or abilities your opponent's control. It's like it's like pre hex proof, hex proof. Yeah, before they actually keyword. But it. thanks for thanks for making an enemy, Phil. That's great. <laughs> appreciate now we're both you. You're all my enemies. That's, that's the point of Commander. I don't know why you're making some weird. I was wondering on who I should attack. But why why just hero over Grease Fang though? So Seth doesn't attack me. That was um, part of the wait, deal. No, never. I don't like that. That means he'll attack me. <laughs> that, is, that is not my problem. <laughs> That's not my problem, indeed. I guess uh, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Right. Well, not even not even saying sorry for this. Thankfully, there's a Sajiri <laughs> shelter. There's a well, not the quite. MDFC. There's a there's a MDFC okay. for it. It's not shelter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, that doesn't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're gonna kill it instead of letting <laughs> it get yeah. phased out. I I can't you get it out. Wish that was a jury shelter. Yet. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we just had no removal out. this week. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. All right. Yeah. 
That's like yeah. sending a message. That's a pretty metal way of countering something. <laughs> in response, I, guess, like, I kill it myself. <laughs> I don't have much enchantment removal. I don't think I'd get rid of the Obliette. Yeah. And it's pretty cheap to recast. Grease Fang's actually kind of powerful. Yeah. More powerful than I realized. We need it. Oh, it's back. Ooh, it's back. Shigeki. The Shigeki. Planar Void? What's that one man of black spell? <laughs> oh, yeah, like Planar Void. <laughs> we needed that. <laughs> That's what we needed this week on turn one. <laughs> mm, that would get me good. I'm very concerned about, oh, but yeah. Phil has like so many cards in here and he keeps deploying these like value pieces over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Should have probably played my deck a little different. <laughs> I guess. I'm like, it's not, what, what's going on? This is, yeah, I'm this just is, trying to. He's only four combo just, pieces, needs the fifth one. He needs a dig. I think he's just like waiting and like, okay, so I'm going to dirtle until turn 10. Everybody will leave me alone and then I'll play Omniscience. Omniscience. And then I'll play all my big things. But he's he's like a bunch of, like, he has like a bunch of eight drops in his hands. <laughs> And he's just like waiting to deploy his just like really expensive high bomb <laughs> spells. <laughs> Be like, next time on Brew's Kitchen, <laughs> I, I do this infinite loop. <laughs> Actually, he could play Omniscience next turn, right? I think there's enough mana to to actually cast oh, it. Oh, because he has double with a I mean, with a tower. Know, we know and what the decks he plays. So what if he temples of the false it. gods? <laughs> yeah, that, don't, you, I, don't actually, feel silly for not playing Tunnel of the False God now. Please, you, somebody play this because I don't want to put this in my deck. But I want to see Temple Wait, of the Co- False God work I have once. It. I have it in my deck. I would actually be very pleased to draw it at this juncture. <laughs> I also <laughs> had Orbor, okay, so it would have been fine. It's not a bad turn. card. My goodness. I don't get the card at all. Are like, you playing it I, in your Chishiro Ch- deck? That's the real question. Your ramp deck over there. <laughs> Ooh, it's possible. That that was the contention, right? Should we <laughs> oh, play it in possible. green? It's possible. I, I thought the funniest thing, though, was when people were, were mentioning how, like, in the same breath, they were saying, Tumble the False God is bad. Cabal Coffers, though, is one of the best lands ever printed. I'm like, do <laughs> you mean, not yeah. see the irony here? But the, but the upside of Coffers the is, like, so much higher, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, but it comes with the exact same draw. It comes back. with the same clause, yeah. Yeah, but a better upside. But, but the, the better upside, upside is, is like... More. You still need whoa, you still what you need five lands? I believe it's five for it to be even, right? For it to be even. It's like no, it's that's come one out. Urborg and or tap. Without Urborg, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so Yeah, so, something like that. Yeah, you need five to get one mana out of it. Like go up. Wait, that's Cabal Stronghold though, right? I think coffers. No, no, I Cabal Coffers is any swamp. Four would but it doesn't count even, itself. Right? Three swamps in Urborg would would make three mana, I think. So four, you break even. Five, you make mana. Yes. Okay. Much Maybe like, I just uh, always played with Urborg. Like if you have Urborg, then it's like super good. Is it safe? I don't know. <laughs> you're not. I'm just you're start not running it, and I'm going to run green every green that please, comes. Please, please do. Fine. I will. I I want to see it. Maybe it actually is better than I give it credit for. I, I would like to see. I think it's good in non-green deck. <laughs> no! Exact opposite. No! I mean, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> You're going to run uh, alongside Cartographer talking over No, no, no. Not, so non-white, non-green. Um, what book with the green is... Uh, uh, okay, so... <laughs> are we tossing our game on a 50-50? <laughs> are we living on a prayer? I, I, like, I, I could actually no, king make here. Manner. I could... Toss out of 50 50, and that's all I got. King make or toss out of 50 50? I could actually king, like, serious. I, I could eat. Okay, here. I Here are my options. <laughs> you okay? could I give king make Seth, Seth the game. Yeah, I could cripple course. Seth beyond doubt. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Oh my God. I this 50 50, whether I live or not. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> cast your command. So, 50 50 yes. sounds like a boom pie, right? 50 50 might be a boom pile. Nice, I like that. Because right? uh, I can't, I can't block anything. I mean, I could I vandal choose, blast Seth into the Stone Ages. Oh god! <laughs> oh, I could yes. cast uh, something that would make Seth pretty much win the game as well. I that's that one, not so cool. personally. Nah, I, I don't. I will say, ask me. I'm going to attack nah. you eventually. I might be, I might be uh, convinced to attack Phil for this turn if he casts Vandal Blast. Whoa. 
Well, friend. And then Tomer so was, was, so was, so so was King so Make You. <laughs> the other option was King Make You. And I'm like, I don't really want that one. <laughs> that I'm one like, doesn't seem appealing to me. <laughs> how about the, the 50-50? I don't want to (laughs) live on a prayer. I mean, what would the viewers want? I think the viewers like rats. (laughs) (laughs) We we, 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 we got to. I think we have to. Live on a prayer. Oh, it seems like he's going for the 50 50. He wants to flip this naughtiness. <laughs> the vandal blasts on top of my deck, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, how would you draw it then? Your deck? Well, oh, you got a way to draw it. I mean, you still got that. How do you know what's on the top uh, of your deck? But I described with treasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is oh, you still oh, got oh, the oh. um the top, right? Yeah. Oh, the top's still around. Oh, it's in his hand. Yeah. Okay, so. I mean, we come here to win, so it's a (laughs) 50-50. Everything else is delayed the inevitable, and I will just get beaten down horrendously, even though I'm holding a handful of 10 drops. Uh, But if I get to 10 mana, oh, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only have eight mana, so the 10 drops are out of of play. So I I think we just... Come on, magic gods. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wait, do you use the treasures in case you win the flip? Or do you not use them in- so you have something <laughs> if you... Oh, oh you no! Play? What? Oh, dear. This okay. is this is literally the worst case scenario. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. So Wait, you're, you're, you're you're making you making the cards that are actively trying to murder me <laughs> or give... <laughs> Person that will just murder the table incidentally. Uh, so <laughs> we could we could have worked something out. I wasn't gonna win the game on my mm. turn. No, but you could kill me at any second. But if you if you said I was scheming symmetry, you if you don't attack me for a turn, I'd snap that in, that offer. I was gonna snap that offer if you cast Vandal Blast. Keep in mind, I offered that. <laughs> oh, you could protect me against Cess Angels though. If I cast Vandal Blast, <laughs> you would have taken you would have taken eight. You would have lived. What, what am I gonna do against it? How about I not be at eight <laughs> with like one grease fang activation away from dying? Wait, but you said it's a 50 50, so you might just you might just die anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the okay. other one seems like a guaranteed slow death. This one, but isn't is, isn't uh, Phil just guaranteed winning on his turn? No, because if well, the boom pile goes off, he has like six mana and nothing. So that's true. You know. Mm-hmm. We got to see what Phil grabbed. It depends what he has, right? It depends what he has that he can tutor up. Phil definitely would take Omniscience. 100, 100% Omniscience. Yeah, Without I mean, the mana to cast it? Yeah, the mana to cast it? He's got the mana. All um, right. We're, we're super <laughs> Should screwed. I give Tomer the chance to put a card draw down? Do you think he'll kill me if I just hold this? I think he will. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean... I feel like I have to try to kill Phil before he plays Omniscience. Because I think if Phil plays Omniscience, he, there's no he way lose. he's going to be able to uh, win from there. You could probably kill both of us, probably. <laughs> if your board is intact, you could probably kill everyone. Maybe Tover included. <laughs> Through oh. this. You could definitely kill me and Phil. Yeah, well... <sighs> well, I guess it's it's up to the magic gods now. We'll see. <laughs> All on the flip of a coin. <laughs> Let's see it. All right, we'll, we'll see. Maybe Tober will draw a card draw spell, and I'll let him draw cards off someone. Okay, okay. Maybe. Forget it. I'm, I'm flipping it, and we're f 6 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Please, magic gods. Teferi's protection? No. Come on. Uh, whatever. Oh, you do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I told you we had something. Okay, here we go. I don't have something. Uh. I mean, if I indestructible, even even oh. even if I keep my Sanctum Weaver in my Chishiro, this is not like this is not great. <laughs> what you want this to go off and then you kill everyone with your board? I don't want this. To go but off. I lose my my I lose my <clears throat> enchantments. Oh, you lose your enchantments. You lose your enchantments. Yeah. <laughs> Heads or tails? Tails never fails, baby. The title That's wins. Good, good mantra. See ya. Title wins. See ya. See ya. What? Did it? No. See ya. <laughs> Oh, um. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> over. I'm still gonna uh, die, but that was worth, right? That was worth. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Thanks, Richard. <laughs> Appreciate God. you. All right, we gotta we gotta kill Richard and Principal what? Motomer. Phil is comboing <laughs> off. He's skimming yeah. symmetry. Don't forget it. <laughs> yeah, he's you're skimming symmetry. Now. He doesn't. He doesn't have the. Mana I have zero now. answers, and now I use my last boom file. That was it. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, that was so brutal. I feel like Richard has a pretty good boom pile percentage. Somehow, it usually works out. No, you, you guys forget where the boom pile fails and I die. <laughs> <laughs> I crushingly die. <laughs> All right, oh. Seth, I have a question for you. Are you still Wait. being friends with Seth? You know as soon as you cast Grease Fang, you're dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> why am I dead? How are you going to stop if we're him? we're friends, why would you be dead? After yeah, he what? hits us in one combat, me and Phil. I would next. still like to be friends. <laughs> What what is the <clears throat> what is the question, Tomer? Um, sure it's seven seven. It's actually pretty big. That's this. I like that my saint. Mm-hmm. This something. one also only has white border Ooh. versions on oh. Moto, By the way, this is driving white, me nuts. Border, man. There's the no, there's a card draw too. Oh, Tomer's gonna Tomer can do some things now. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Red aura. Might have tapped this wrong. Is there a red aura? Dragon mantle. Dragon oh, mantle. fire breathing. Oh, wait, but he makes. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that doesn't help. Oh. Draw a card. Draw a card. Make some mana. Uh oh. No. <laughs> oh, I thought, no. <laughs> I thought that was happy, happy uh, Tomer noises. No. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's, fire that's breathing good. allows for a little bit more damage. Yeah, I mean, actually getting quite... How much can you hit for? I mean... Oh, I guess not... It's that huge, that right? It's, it's, that's like eight, oh, yeah. nine. Yeah. If he ate this turn, and then he can fire breathe his way. If he has a double strike aura. Is there a double strike aura in red? Oh, double strike might be lethal. Emer Battle Rage. Fertile Ground draws a card. Wait, where do you get all these cards from? Oh, because Enchantress. You only Enchantress had one card going, going into this turn, right? You, you know, you're it was, in, it was Inspiring Call, so I drew two cards off it. Oh, it, oh, it draws Ooh, cards right. too? Yeah. The card is insane. Oh, it's this you thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, draw card for each creature you control. With, I'm so... I, I'm, I apologize, chat. I, I'm rusty on... Uh, Announcing what I'm doing. I highlighted it. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, right. with a plus one, plus one counter. It draws right? a card for each creature you control, plus one, plus one counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructible and then turn. I cast it in response to Boom Pile. So uh, they became indestructible and I drew two cards. Um, So I can't kill either. Uh, well, actually, if we work <clears throat> we together. Can, we can team up, Tomer. Yeah. We can. Who do who do we want to kill? Um, Because yeah. I can get in some damage too. Phil, I'm sure, has omniscience on top of his deck, but he's down to seven mana now. Richard, so he has a, piled how, us, how much is omniscience? Ten. <laughs> Ten. Do you think he actually took the omniscience? I would be shocked if he didn't. <laughs> I, I, think, think, I think he did. I, I, like, do you think you, his plan was to hard cast on omniscience? <clears throat> do, we I hit, so. do we hit Richard? I mean, that's my plan message? all along. Richard, this was Richard's plan. He, he's giving yeah. symmetry as Phil, so we kill Phil, right? Like, that was... That was no. the the I mean, hit me, but my plan press. was not to give you cards to hit me with because I know you're gonna hit me after the boom pile anyway, right? So yeah. we should probably we should probably kill Richard. Kill yeah, me. I think that makes sense. Send a message. Plus, like we always let Richard win because we don't kill him. So this is true. Historically, let this would be Richard the right person win. It's to so take hard out to kill choosing. him though. It's like you speak as if. <laughs> 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 All right, whatever. Go around, attack. <laughs> well, I'm time. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking, Richard. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I hope I live and and draw a temple of the false god. Really? (laughs) (laughs) You have a handful of Eldrazi, you must. I I need the temple of the false god, and I need to live, okay? (laughs) And then I have something truly mediocre, but it still (laughs) serves a purpose for temple of the false god. So have we we agreed we're attacking Richard then? Yes. Is that where we're at? Let's go. That's where I'm at, yeah. If you attack me and I'm at like four life, do you think Seth would not just kill me? Like, why do you need to ask? (laughs) 
Do you think he'll hit you through your spirit tokens? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I guess when I hold turn to recast my commander. I we're mean, friends, Tomer Seth. is about to kill everyone on the yeah. next turnaround here. <laughs> but we're friends, Seth. We're friends, yeah. I want and to see you, Seth you rip can't the draw greatest farewell ever. Me. He's been sandbagging farewell because he had such a great board. I, but now uh, he's so like, <laughs> my board is gone. Might as well rip it. <laughs> This might be wrong, but I played a steward command instead because I felt like That's so I could avoid weird. killing Whoa, my rat colonies. No. Every game. No. Why? I, I've never played Farewell this season in all my white decks because of that exact it's reason. So it's always weird. been us. Yeah, command. but it doesn't make any That's sense. So Every game we say, oh, now the Farewell will blow everybody out. Yeah. And uh, then it's followed by, oh, I don't play Farewell because, because every, don't have every deck uses deck. the graveyard as an engine, including your own but you don't deck. Have so you don't to. want to yeah, Farewell but yourself. You don't have to exile the graveyard. You don't have to exile your creatures, though. You exile it, your own creatures, right? No, but, you don't have to. But then, <laughs> you, then you don't board wipe, right? Enchantment. You didn't accomplish what the thing was supposed to accomplish. But that's that's like saying I'm a creature heavy deck, therefore I run zero creature board wipes. It's like sometimes it will be very but, beneficial. But an austere command kind of does the job, right? Without ruining your game plan. I would, like if you were blue white control well. or something, right? Where you don't care about your graveyard then yeah you rip it off right? but every but, deck cares about their graveyard that's like the main thing is like you're always going to be up against your deck is going to always care about graveyards no matter what your deck is i'm sorry just, that's yeah. how it's going to be and then your opponents are also going to do the same thing and sometimes they're going to be a graveyard deck and that's when you like you farewell slam them it's like oh yeah i exile whatever a couple of my cards have you tried it? i mean i, I had you. the same opinion as you but every deck i've built i was like I can't justify for a while here, and I've cut so it. So I, I haven't been Did able to play cast it? it yet, but I've put it in like, my light pause yeah. deck, for example. My light pause is like it has all the recursion. Like you can't. You have like the mass aura reanimation in light yeah. pause. Would you really snap off a farewell? Because sometimes my graveyard isn't full of auras. Like, but it will after I, your board wipe. <laughs> you know. I, I would have. I would have snap cast farewell. So and, for me, the weird thing is that. Despite not having seen it on Commander Clash, I don't know how many games you play outside of Commander Clash, but everybody was saying, well, this is just so much better than Austere Command <laughs> and will slot into every deck. And without having seen whoa. play, now people say, no, no, I, this whoa, whoa, just whoa, 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 Cabal so Coffers, hello. Oh, look at this. Yeah, now, it's now, now, oh, now I actually so dead. tap. Now I'm I actually dead, right? am a little worried oh, about yeah, killing yeah, Richard because he has the herb, oh. the herb pork that I need. But, <laughs> yeah, look at Tober over there. Seth. Well, we just talked about <laughs> I, I've this. Already used used I already shots. Are you going to renege on the deal? On the, on I know. The deal? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. But <clears throat> man, I do kind of want this herb pork to, to stay around. <laughs> uh, all right. We can loot. You could kill Phil before he combos <laughs> you. Can you kill Phil though? Before like, he agent of treacheries or cabal conquers. Not, and, oh, look at I the synergy. Loose of conquerors foothold to get that part. Oh, Parhelion's already on the battle on the graveyard this. though. What are you gonna loot? Uh, you saw you have something better than Parhelion. Uh, but he doesn't no, need to. I just, he just had needs to <laughs> reanimate yeah. Parhelion, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting Parhelion. Um, I could colossal plow. But all right, we'll get we'll do the we'll do the right thing. We'll get Parhelion. Here he comes, this master plow. I think I get to hit Phil for a little bit too. Oh, <laughs> That's fine. no! Do you have a surgical or something, Stifle. Richard? Richard, good. Let me see. Okay, thrill possibility. Is there Puzzle a one cards. mana black spell I could draw? Fatal push might get me. Nope. Sort of hearth and home. Very classic, Richard of you. Uh, I don't right, think you so cast a creature yet. Oh wait, you cast a Twilight Prophet. <laughs> yeah, we did not see Hitasugu like at all, unfortunately. <laughs> because you guys were relentlessly <laughs> murdering me all game. Yes, I did not have time to deploy my eight mana. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like Commander to pick you guys. Uh, Shocking, I know. Um, all right, so attack Richard. Are Summon the angels. Summon some angels. <sighs> Here we are playing historic. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I was <laughs> just gonna say this. <laughs> All right, is that's it, what we got. Is it gonna work. Richard, shall it work? This is not white. There's no one mana good removal. <laughs> <laughs> fatal push would really, really have done it. If only you were playing a modern deck. <laughs> would you really play fatal? Push? <laughs> is there an MDFC no. fatal push that I might play it? <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, I'll give it to Phil. 
<laughs> oh, I want to see gave, him dark virtual you auditions, gave it to right? Phil. Here. You gave him a skewing <laughs> symmetry. Now, we'll see what he does we, with it. Now he's he gonna die. <laughs> he doesn't have a board. He needs well, to combo here on like five mana or something. But I don't think. He yeah, can. this won't ha- This won't happen. Mm. I'm just gonna do. It's like secret rendezvous. You give it to the weakest person because you're just gonna die with it anyway. So, <laughs> 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 like whatever. So right? let's just destroy all non-enchantment creatures, which will leave I have oh, two. <laughs> Renata <laughs> and the Sanctum Reaver. Relevant. I should have just played oh. Wrath of God, I guess, or like yes. Damnation. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, all right, no. Shishiro, you'll go back to the command zone. Now yeah, I can still even eight three you're still over, like Tomer just plays a couple spells and you're dead, right? Yep. Is that it? Man, I hate to do this, but I was kind of hoping for O- Otavara as my answer for Perhelion. Oh. But yeah, now I don't have any legends anymore. I could have cast it for once before the boom pile to save something, but I uh, <laughs> didn't. So now it's a land, which is still super fine and it's untapped and these channel lands are so good still. I still can't get over this. Okay. Bog. Please don't kill me. Fog buyback. <laughs> <laughs> Constant mist or clinging mist? We haven't seen that card in a long time. Oh, yeah, we used to see it quite a is bit. Is there a fog with buyback? Yes. It's a sack of land. Buyback, sack of land. So yeah. you can very affordably buy that back for Wait. a long time. By the way, it is the same artwork for the mountains. It just looked super weird with the card frame, but it's still the... Yeah, you're right. It like is the, the Tomer one-shot fill. He needs how much more devotion? Four more devotion. He has at least one Ew. in his commander. Ew. <laughs> uh, hmm. The problem is I don't what? know how I beat Tomer. Why would Phil just pay, put that? a land and pass? That seems odd. Tomer well, doesn't have an engine to... anymore, though, so if you draw well, a farewell. <laughs> uh, I want to yeah, see, I I see if this resolves as step one. Uh, this is a little card that... Um, oh, you guys are totally dead. <laughs> a little card that uh, I feel like it, 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 it's, it's very good in this particular playgroup that doesn't believe in basic lands. Oh, you play uh, Ruination? <laughs> Oh. Whoa! Hi! Wow! Hi. I, even I don't play Rune Nation because I know it's basic oh, land oh, again. Oh. Basic lands are overrated, huh? <laughs> oh! Ah! Uh, all right. Nah. That, that's a low nah. blow. We should have a podcast on this. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> wow! That is sad. Oh. I kind of yeah. figured there was something. I was hoping wow. it was a spell pierce though over. Uh, over yeah, that. Yeah, no. Wow. <laughs> no chance. I'm Jeez. glad no that chill. didn't resolve. <laughs> no Ren. Ooh, this. Um, oh, it's classic. Oh, oh, you guys are so dead. <laughs> yeah, this is very good. <laughs> I All think friends My don't God. God. We are friends. Jeez. Yeah, try to one sided <laughs> Armageddon me, buddy. <laughs> Come on, friend. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Wait, uh, how do I feel about Ruination? Is that. I, the same as playing Armageddon. I think it's, it's, it's the same, same as playing one sided. I was going to lose two lands. You were going to lose your entire mana base. <laughs> so better. I don't better. care about your land, but you basically mass LG'd everyone, right? Because yes. your <laughs> argument is like, you should play more basics, but then the argument for Armageddon is you should play more mana rocks or mana dorks, which is essentially but the same, right? Isn't, yeah. isn't, isn't the complaint about uh, Armageddon effects is that they prolong the game for no reason? Like, you cast mm. it when you can't close the game and then the game goes too long if i'm losing to like fair, two lands and i have an, a dominating board position what's wrong with with sealing the deal right there right, right? But I mean, that, that's like what's wrong with armageddon sure. it's the same argument for why armageddon is okay right but you can misuse armageddon because you lose your lands unless you, you have can a misuse this totally board. right you, you can, can misuse, cripple fill and king makes seth or something <laughs> if seth had all basics right you can misuse yeah. it as well and then seth i mean untaps I, and farewells or something right like i don't want to have to start playing basics <laughs> <laughs> that's my, that's my I, issue with all this uh, like, that's like, like, come on now but he plays because he will play a ruination on you <laughs> oh, I forgot I had. Oh, it's two mana, whatever. Oh, I think. How yeah. much ramp did you uh, ramp? Two? One? Just one. It's a very oh, fair card, yeah. Kodama, with the West Street, you see. Uh, oh, these, these I think, uh, are the fact. Huh. I, I wouldn't be pissed about it. I'm a get on here as well, to be honest, because you do have a pretty cool bot 
to kill us with. But it's uh, good that I could have countered it. Then. Yeah, I was really hoping yeah. it was the spell fears. I, I actually went through the exact same thing because I was like, I want to put Price of Progress in my deck. And then since Aww. I have all basics, should I just play Ruination? Yes, <laughs> Did you have a good card left? Breath of Fe- Oh my Breath goodness, of infinite extra combat phases. Eh? It's not infinite extra Ooh. combat. It, it's infinite, infinite with infinite, one but... other card, actually, Valduk, but I don't have Valduk, obviously. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go group hug, I guess. Oh, I, opponent I creates a rat thought about playing this. Nice. This is very rats, brand rats all around. It's very good <laughs> with rat colony because with, four, uh, with oh, yeah. three opponents, you could make six rats and then you get them all and then your rat colony. Yeah, you, you know, probably but... won't get them all though, right? Hey. That's what I I, I played this card in my head. Them into each thought, other, yeah, yeah, we just smash them. Wait, so why you is rats rat? a two two? Because of Renata, Renata, I guess, pumps it. Oh, every <laughs> creature. Interesting. Oh, again. Renata has another ability. <laughs> oh. Now that helped Homer a lot, didn't it? Well, I'm definitely dying. What happens when your rats have two two trample? Well, you gave you gave, Phil, else one, you gave Phil rat. like an extra mana with Phyrexian Tower. Oh, that's right. Can he omniscience now? <laughs> he doesn't have triple. <laughs> he have triple what, I'm, I'm dead anyways, right? So that's <laughs> yo. You got a fifty you know. boom pile. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Wait, is like this omniscient thing? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Look you at this. You did up <laughs> omniscient. You did. Oh, oh it's, th- it's not even happening. So um, might as well go out on my own terms here. How about, how about a little bit of pay three life? Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, oh no. no, this means Tomer can slam everything at me. Oh, oh yeah, the, no. Yeah. I'm so dead. I mean, oh, Phil had three life, though. I'm not sure. That yeah. <laughs> it, it if you're it off taken, by three. It would have taken a Sanctum three, Weaver. So, yeah, it didn't really oh, matter. You have two floating mana now for the rest of eternity. So, <clears throat> friends. We're friends, right, Tomer? <laughs> Still? I was, so remember remember earlier in the conversation when we were talking about like you never got seth back that was the Uh-oh. time i was gonna ruination him <laughs> this doesn't care <laughs> that's yeah, not does, the same you know level he's not running a single basic <laughs> you know he's not gonna run a single uh, basic no one will yeah. but that's just getting the table plus it's like a turn four play it has to be a turn one play Oh, that on. cripples him for the entirety of the game, and he has to sit there and watch <laughs> as you guys all play Magic the Gathering. That's that's such a high bar, too. I, I actually watched the clip yesterday because it was suggested to me on YouTube, and it's still the most brutal thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta go back and watch it because I don't remember right, how is, it ended is, up. Is Seth one shot here? No, right? This Renata is not big enough. I, I think two, two one, shot, but. Two. I'm going to need quite the top deck to get out of this. Farewell. Oh, Farewell would solve everything. Escape velocity. <laughs> what? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, oh, you're so dead. He has this this escape haste thing. And Tomer gets to ramp like a million times with Kadama. Yeah. He believes I mean, he that's literally just reason. deck thinning at that point. <laughs> I mean, it's guaranteed recasting of Chishiro every single time, right? So no matter yeah. what Seth answers, I mean, you get your commander back. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the Seth this, is dead. He needs is, a farewell. Man, I was so hoping nah. for that ruination to. No, I'm sure. I can't believe you played. I can't believe you looked at this card and said this would be. <laughs> you know why? You know this why? This would be great. I was like, you know, guess how many basics I'm running in this deck? Uh, Twenty-seven. 20. <laughs> That's like close. It's also uh, twenty-eight, and also it's. Wow! It's a, no, seriously, twenty-eight. It's it's a budget deck. It's a hundred. How do you have MDFC? <laughs> oh, okay. you should have told us that, so we could have killed you first. That's why I didn't oh, say anything. No. I didn't say anything in the intro. This is why you killed Tomer no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta assume he's on a budget list. Yeah, it's a fifty-fifty between a combo, a ruination, or a, a budget deck. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> All right, oh, 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 even giving Tover another token here. Thank you. I appreciate right, you, can, you. You can have a rat. <laughs> yeah, I should have. I needed to keep Richard around for that Urborg. I think you're the one that killed oh. me, Seth. Remember that? Yeah, that was that might have been a mistake. I feel um, like that was still the correct play. Not even gonna lie, it worked. It worked out for you. <laughs> uh, we're gonna say normally, Seth away. gets away with these decisions. He always makes questionable decisions and then wins at the end. So I'm not counting Seth out. <laughs> he always does something. We're like, why would you ever do that? And then he has a I'm trump card. I'm counting myself out now. <laughs> okay, Seth is dead. Yeah. <laughs> he needed, like, uh, maybe you can land. Go down to one with the caves. 
Yeah, I can't. I can't even kill myself. What is this Cabal Coffers even doing on this table? <laughs> I don't understand. Because he's it counting on the orb, which I have. have. One swamp on the battlefield. <laughs> But this is how everyone plays coffers. But I got Urza's. I got Urza's saga. I can tutor it up. All right, you got me. Good game. Good game. GG. <laughs> Tomer, I'm gonna vote for you. You murdered me. I'm gonna we, vote we were, for you too. We were good friends. We were good we friends. Actually we actually stayed friends each other. We did it through game. the whole game. Yeah, that was. I think we've turned a corner in our, I feel like, our yeah. relationship. Yeah, I feel like this was therapy for us. Except you know, ignore <laughs> the part where I tried to ruin Asian you. I mean, yeah. that was. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, didn't. Oh, hello, oh, I read read hope you got I already blocked that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, uh that was a, that was a fast one uh we usually do three hours this felt like like a, like a short <laughs> jog a short <laughs> jog through a commander clash how about that um so we'll go around and, and hear what what interesting stuff uh everybody got so richard um you were kind of on the back foot you have to play control uh this game um uh, okay what? i'm not a control deck i was playing control because you guys were all murdering me because yes. you guys had soul ring infinite green mana starts but uh the problem with rakdos is there's no answers so i couldn't answer the board but i just needed to stabilize and hit itsugu and i'm running things like emrakul the promise end it that betrays and uh damage doublers like wounded reflection uh, stuff like that. So I just want to flip cards off Hitsugu uh, and then burn people's face. Uh, I have Baneful Omen. There's a Dark Confidant in paper that's like two players Dark Confidant on each other that's not available at Moto. Uh, something Duelist or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so there's a bunch of top matters. And then I have Scroll Rack and Divining Top to put cards back on top. And then the uh, Volrath Stronghold to like... Uh, I have Looting Effects to dump the big cards into my graveyard and then stronghold them back on top for Hidetsugu. Uh So the plan was just to burn people with Hidetsugu. Uh And then you guys got off to such a fast start and these colors have no answers. Like I could all is dust, but like utterly useless to get Seth. So if I all of dust, I can make Seth. If I Vandal Blast, Seth would be out of the game. <laughs> uh, I could, van you know, I could boom pile, but it's a losing position. 50-50, I'm going to die anyway. Uh, so that, that was it. We really needed a you know, a farewell or something, <laughs> right? Like we farewell really needed to exile one. everything here. Uh, but alas, that's not, that's not in the colors. And usually all is dust does the job, but Seth was playing an artifact deck. So that, I think, <laughs> that doesn't I, help. I think your deck had plenty of answers. Like Vandal Blast would have taken out Seth and I'm an Enchantress deck, but I'm also an aura deck. So if you kill the creatures, like if you Toxic they lose me, even my so I, I needed to tutor for three rats or something to clean the board. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I had two tutors. Remember, I had two tutors and time to deploy it, but there was no efficient, clean answer. Uh, and then Wasn't plus that... you guys had all these weird creatures, so I couldn't like block in any profitable manner, right? You had Menace, you had Flying, <laughs> you had Haste. So there was no real good blocking opportunity too. So it was just unfortunate. I really wanted uh, Temple of the False God and Ulamog uh, on the last turn <laughs> just to exile some stuff. And that's what Temple of the False God would have actually made it there. Because I was actually two mana off. So that's what the temple play was. Uh, but I did run Temple of the False God. <laughs> sweet. Sweet. Uh, yeah. It seemed like it was kind of like a slow start. And yeah, you were not in a good position for the rest of the game. We were terrified because I thought it was just like I had to kill you because you keep wiping. Uh, um, anyway, Phil. We got to see some enchantress stuff. Uh, you were, you were, you were, you were scheming. There was stuff happening. Yeah, uh, there was literally so a the scheme cast. What was, what was going <laughs> on there? <laughs> so my deck basically tries to generate value by sacrificing the toad, and or gaining value by creating it again and again. Like elemental bond, for example, three mana enchantment. Whenever a creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield, I draw a card. That's great with the Toad Rider or the resulting Toad. Then sacrificing it to Evolutionary Leap Attrition is pretty good. I, I have a lot of sacrifice effect. Of course, Phyrexian Altar. The combo isn't as easy as you would think because the more you think about it, it's like, nah, it doesn't work. It does work with Omniscience and then you bounce like <laughs> the shimmering wings to your hand again and again and opt for uh, and sacrifice the creature with the phyrexian altar to get that mana 
I also mm-hmm. played Cloudstorm Curio, which it's all it's everything is like close to infinite, but it's mostly just <laughs> value. <laughs> and you know, Cloudstorm Curio added on this. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like not, not really sure a combo. This. That's why that's why I really wanted to make sure. Hey, don't fear any combos here. I really just wanted to. <laughs> what, what did you scheme <laughs> symmetry? Was it? <laughs> Yeah, oh, it was the omniscience. <laughs> and I, the funny thing is, if I didn't, like, Seagate Restoration was my only land. If I had a oh. land there, I could have played the omniscience and Seagate Restoration and maybe got there. Uh, I do play. So I was obviously, omniscience is a bit of a dirty card, but I'm playing Zoltai Enchantress. Come on. Yeah. But I do play Emergent Ultimatum and wanted a thing that the opponent can give me no way and that is mm. when i thought well, i mean now i gotta play omniscience for sure mm. uh then i would have probably i mean i would have probably gotten an agent of treachery omniscience and something that is not related to any of my combos i i, <laughs> I just wanted to play emergent ultimatum and get some good value there uh another card i want to try out at the pre-release i saw um, a commander deck and it has seasons passed in it and I thought is that card good and he said well it plays very good in commander and that's when I thought well, I might try it out I played 12 one drops and uh, the, I only played two five drops but at this point uh, it's it's just it's probably always going to get like four cards back so I thought mm-hmm. I, I might try it didn't get to do it but the deck seems like the deck is exactly the kind of deck I like just Churning out value and getting people scared about combos that barely exist <laughs> and then getting killed. But it was, it was pretty fun. All right. Uh, mm. Seth, what do you... We, you had like an insane start. That was, yeah, that was kind mean, of like <laughs> the pop-off. You got showcased Parhelion and the the yeah. other one that makes things uh, stuffy, the creatures, in the creatures. You, you really got to see pretty much like what the deck can do for the most part. Like, I got the really fast start. Soul Ring definitely was the reason it was so fast and scary. But you got to see Grease Fang, like, getting back Parhelion, getting back a whole bunch of vehicles. You got to see the self-crewing vehicles, the Peace Walker Colossus, which is really good in the deck because you can fire up vehicles. Uh, so, really, it's it's rats and cars. Like, that, uh, that is the deck. There's not <laughs> a ton more to it. Uh, as I mentioned a little bit in the intro, when I was building a deck, at first, I didn't have the rat sub-theme, and I was just going to play, like, more artifact stuff, and ways to protect your artifacts. But then I was looking for ways to discard cards, basically, because uh, because Grease Fang bounces a vehicle back to your hand, you really want a way to keep discarding the Parhelion or whatever your best vehicle is so you can get it back for free rather than casting it. And I realized rats are kind of good at that. Like, Pack Rat does it. And then there's a bunch of other, like, rotting rats as everyone discards a card. Stronghold Rats has Shadow. And when it hits someone, everyone has to discard a card. <laughs> so rats are actually, like, oddly the perfect <laughs> tribe to keep discarding your Parhelion again and again. Jeez. So then I got to the, like, rat colonies because they have high toughness and they can crew all the vehicles naturally. And and that's where I ended up. The only thing I wanted to mention was a teleportation circle. is like the one shenanigan in the deck because you can blink Ooh. your vehicles. <laughs> and reset them oh, so, they so, don't they don't get get, so they don't go back to your hand yeah oh, so, that, that so that's cute. in the deck primarily to like keep the vehicles around but otherwise it's it's a bunch of rats and a bunch of cars and a bunch of mdfcs <laughs> of course i would have never guessed that that rats would be a a, a sub theme for grease fang but the more you talk about it, the more it makes a lot of sense that was really cool it's we'll probably a little mimi, but but it was it was fun i like it and it does yeah, synergize it pretty, well pretty well with the, well, with the yeah. plan yeah yeah um, well, as for my deck, you got to see everything it's trying to do. I, I picked an aura primary uh, theme with a plus one plus one counter sub theme. And I feel like a lot of the cards worked really well together. I didn't go equipment. I see almost every single Shishira that goes equipment. I don't like it. It works, but I don't think it's it's like the the way that I'm I'm interested in going. I think this way is pretty darn powerful. Um, it was a hundred dollar budget, so you don't find all like the craziest cards in here. But there was plenty of like uh, busted stuff. There was a combo in the deck. Uh, it actually does go infinite, infinite combat steps. Uh, Valduk plus Breath of Fury. Um, it's infinite Ooh. combats and infinite tokens because the tokens have haste. Um, so you just move them around from a token to a token. You need to have a way to not get around blockers. Still, you need you need to get get evasion. But if the opponent doesn't have any blockers, you can do infinite damage that way. 
Um, but uh, that was that was basically that was basically the deck. Uh, you got to see everything that was it was cool and fun about it. Uh, I will say the one card that was uh, kind of disappointing to see not on Magic Online. Uh, hopefully, it will be re-enabled. But it was it was put on Magic Online and then disabled uh, when we tried to record it. I lost like four cards, but the one that I really liked. Uh, was uh, like a smoke skin aura, smoke screen aura type card. Oh, what was the name of it? Uh, <sighs> smoke sisters call or something like that. Smoke spirits call. Yeah, Some, smoke spirits something, call. Yeah, it's a, something like that. It was like a red. It was a red sorcery. You red in an X, and you put X number of uh, auras on creatures on the battlefield. And when those creatures die, uh, the opponent, the owner of the creature uh, lo- takes one damage and makes a treasure token. It's insane with Chushiro because that will mean you make X number of spirits with Chushiro. And also if you have like, you know, a citizen champion or something, you draw X number of cards and stuff like that. And they also are all modified. So you put uh, counters on all of them. That card's insane. I wish I could have showcased that card uh, in Smoke a game. Smoke Spirits 8, it's called. Yeah, hey, Smoke Spirits okay. 8. It's in the pre-con. So it's like the best card for Chichiro is actually in the company pre-con, which is very cool. Uh, didn't get to showcase that, but I wanted to give a shout out to that. And that was basically it. And that was my first win in like, I don't even know how many games. So yay. I got a W. <laughs> I got a W, yep. chat. <laughs> Kill Tom first there. next week. Make the budget this one. Nice. So like, ah. I'll never say the word budget ever again in the opener. <laughs> that's that's the real uh real thing I learned is you never say budget in an introduction. You can only say it once you're you're actually winning the game. <laughs> All right. Um well that's it for our Commander Clash uh this week. Next week we'll finally move off of Kamigawa, we'll do something actually pretty cool. Oh, that we've already figured out is going to be eSports week. So if you actually made it all the way to the end of the video, which is like 2% of the people who actually get here, uh, you'll get to know that we're going to do eSports week uh, next week. So we're all going to be playing decks themed around a certain video game that is has an eSport following. I can't wait to see what Seth uh, comes up with on that one. <laughs> That one will be uh, spicy, whatever it is. I'm, I'm um, excited for it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, so smash like button, dingle dangle, all that good stuff. And until next time, friends, see you.